Coming up, we got music from 303, Mod Sun, Poppy, and more. Hi, I'm Evan, and today I'm going to be giving you 20 alternative songs that have come out between October 2020 and September 2021. Number 20, Cry by Man de Gloire. This one's got cleans and screams, electronic and cinematic elements. There's so much jam-packed into the short and sweet banger. Number 19, Stupid by No Offense. This is the template for the new generation of punk music. 18, Tommy's Face by Your Broken Hero featuring Spencer Chamberlain of Under Oath. The song and the video are so goofy that it's almost like a parody of like emo post-hardcore, but it's so good that it's honestly better than a lot of serious post-hardcore. Yeah! 17. Contain Myself by Nathan James. Very solid pop punk through and through, simple yet effective. Number 16, Paranoia on Main Street by Demi the Daredevil. Very spooky alternative pop song that's very artistic and just perfect for Halloween. 15, Drive Away by Peyton. Very fun song about young love that is perfect for driving to on a summer afternoon. Oh my god, I just noticed something while editing. Is that a crotch grab? 14. Love Me by Magnolia Park featuring Kellen Quinn. This is a really cool, darker, new wave pop punk song with some very tasteful modern pop production and a great feature from the legendary Kellen Quinn. Number 13, Thanks for the Memories by The Main. One night, one more time, thanks for the memories, even though they weren't so... So they turned this Fall Out Boy classic on its head into a tender ballad. Never thought I'd heard it this way, but it works out beautifully. 12, I'm So Sad by 303. So just like the old days, it's very electronic and pop, but with some pop punk sensibilities. But this time it has more grown up lyrics, referencing Ice Cube, Tool, and being sad about not having kids. 11. I Don't Love You Like I Want To by This Wild Life featuring The Happy Fits. It's okay to feel afraid. It's okay to feel alone. This is a very heartfelt acoustic ballad with vivid emotional lyrics, and the song gave me chills. Number 10. River Stay by The Used. This is easily the best track on the deluxe edition of their album, Heartwork. This is way too good to get lost in their catalog. I mean, this song should have a music video and be on the radio. Number nine, Bleach on the Rocks by John Harvey. Can I get a I'm need a couple more shots. A if there was ever such a thing as red state pop punk, I think this is it. So that's pretty unique and cool to see. The era of y'alternative is here. My producer Andrew, he's a little f that makes me sound like Walmart Machine Gun Kelly. Water Gun Kelly. Number eight, Salt by Dane, featuring Ollie Sykes of Bring Me the Horizon. This is a very somber emo rap and hyper pop song with some very epic belts from Ollie Sykes that give this song a greater sense of intensity and urgency. Are you shitting my dick? Number seven, Lonely and Pathetic by Lolo. There's a very poppy, upbeat, new wave pop punk song. Just so much fun, energetic, and it's very addicting. Number six, Invincible by Escape the Fate featuring Lindsey Sterling. Like 
I think it's great to see them experimenting with new sounds like trap beats and violins. Really paid off for them. I think this is one of their best songs they've put out in a while. All right, moving on to the top five. Some really good stuff here. Number five, Bones by Mod Sun. I mean, this song is just fantastic. It also really helped set him apart from MGK because it proved that Mod Sun is just a vocal powerhouse. I'll call Tony Hawk. So I just DM'd him and You'll he like, just I call Tony Hawk. I know. I DM'd him. Why this flex? What, did you, what like, did you say in the DM to well, Tony? Number four, Shut Up by Tyler Posey featuring Femme and Travis Barker. Shut up, shut up, shut up. You said enough, so shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm not enough for you. This is a very emotional and well-arranged pop-punk duet and it proved that the Teen Wolf star Tyler Posey is made for pop punk. Number three, So Mean by Poppy. The chorus is like very cute sounding, also one of the catchiest choruses I've ever heard, hands down, and this song is just an absolute blast. Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump? Hmm, that's a good question. I suppose I'll vote for whichever candidate is gay. I think they're both gay. Number two, Tattoo by Girlfriends. I got a new tattoo, cause it reminds me, it reminds me of you. It's got very heartfelt lyrics, but it's also just super fun with those really fast hi-hats in the chorus, addicting melodies, like this song will be stuck in your head. Number one, I Think I Hate Myself by Hot Milk. This song is crazy. It starts out with dance pop choruses. It's got an epic, angsty rock chorus. It's also got a guitar show reminiscent of My Chemical Romance. Easily one of the top five songs of the year. You can find a list of all these songs and artists, as well as two different playlists that feature many of these songs, all in the description below. And please comment your song suggestions for my playlist and future videos. 